Love, soft as an easy chair. Love, fresh as the morning air. One love that is shared by two. I have found with my cat. Welcome. Today, we explore the very essence of what is love between cat and human. Today, we explore head bunk. What is head bunk? Sounds violent, but yet loving. To find out, let us consult the Cat Daddy Dictionary. Mm. Ah, there. Yeah. Head bonk, also known as head bunt, head butt, head bop, bang, bash, wop, babaloobap, or wop, bam, bonk. It goes on forever. You, it, the word bonk is well and illy defined at the same time. Something that they should work on the next time they write the dictionary. Anyway, head bonk. When a cat, with velocity, pushes their head against the head, face, or mouth of another. A sign of affection, often winding up with cat hair in mouth, or sometimes missing tooth. To be used in a sentence. It is so adorable when I settle into my couch and my cat Polly crawls onto my chest and gives me a nice head bonk. I love her. Oh, love. Well, that is a basic definition, but yet there is so much that is not explored, so much that cannot be explained without the use of visuals. And with that, roll them. Bonk, bonk. Oof. There you go. <laughs> Please, my friends, I am not crying from sadness. I am crying because love is so beautiful. Even if those outside of the cat community cannot see how beautiful the head bonk is. I can't, I can't. Somebody else, take it, please. Love. It's all about love, people. That's right. Now, my compadre was overcome by the emotions of love. You know, let's just... I don't think I could do this whole thing in rose-colored glasses. <laughs> you know, there's there's no better word than the intimacy of a head bonk. There are scent glands in a cat's forehead, right here, but there's also scent glands all over their body. Scent is such an important thing to a cat's life. Scent identification, being able to walk into a room and know that you belong there vis-a-vis -vis your own scent. So to be able to, to leave scent on you by the act of the bonk, or as we've seen before, rubbing up against your leg, having this, their flank rub up against you, or a place that you've been. They'll rub their face on a chair, they'll claw on a chair. And I know that everybody, you guys think it's like totally just destructive behavior, which it is, obviously, if your chair gets all clawed up, but what they're doing then is taking something that smells like you, complementing it with both visual marker and scent marker, since they have scent glands also between their little pads. And that's why when you think about it, the place where uh, your, your, your house or your apartment gets messed up the most by the cats in terms of scratching is either the couch or your bed. 
And that's what scent soaking is all about. That's, you know, not to get too far off on a tangent, but that's why when I tell you guys, get stuff around the house that you can share scent with. So let's say you have a carrier, a cat carrier, and you want your cat to feel safe in that carrier. Well, one of the things that you can do is take a t-shirt that you've been wearing and put that in the, the cat carrier. That sense of community scent is really pretty holy to cats, you know? And that's why you'll see them walk up to each other and for instance, they'll do the little nose to nose, but that of course is a greeting. That's not just a, a bigger expression. But what we're talking about is aloe rubbing, spelled like this. And so it's not aloe the plant, it's aloe. And that means the rubbing of one's body against another as scent marking, but it's done from the same member of species. So it's, that's reserved for cat to cat. The head bonk and also the flank mark and the scratching, all those things I've been talking about, that is usually from one species to another cat to human. Now, those of you who have cats and dogs, you might've seen your cat head bonk your dog, which is really funny because Dogs are most of the time totally baffled by it. And they could get angry or they could back up or they could, you know, but there's rarely a time that they get all, ah, oh, like we do when the cat does that. But that's just, again, a sign of affection. What is it about the head bonk that connotates love? Honestly, let's think about what I always talk about with cats. Out there, the raw cat, the idea of allowing one in as close as a head bunk would be a suicide mission, you know, if it was another animal, another being that the cat didn't know very well. There's something about putting one's face into another one's face, especially when this one's face, this is a cat right here, that this one's face is a prey slash predator animal. And to be able to come here, defenses completely down, close eyes and bunk is an act of vulnerability, of ultimate trust, and that equals love. Another example is what I call the cat hug, and that's when a cat lays on the floor, when you come in and the cat rolls over on their back and does what I call the sea otter position, right? Just right on their back like that, exposing their entire midline to you the most vulnerable part of their body, in fact, anyone's body, besides our ribs, nothing is protecting our vital organs. I keep coming up with all of these examples, but, but think of it this way. When you meet somebody that you don't know, and yet you wanna show affection, you might hug, right? But when you do it, you're probably not going to completely open yourself that kind of hug, the hug that you reserve for those really close to you. You might do the sort of the side hug, maybe the one, the one armed hug. You might even do sort of a bro handshake into the uh, thing. Obviously I don't do that all that often, but, but these are ways of, of showing affection, but with a little bit of reservation, affection and reservation. But with the head bonk or a big sort of all in hug or something like that, then we have no reservations, we have no protection, we have no boundaries. That's what your cat is showing to you by doing the head bonk. Uh, they leave scent on you, uh, they could rub up onto your head or your cheek, meet your cheeks with theirs. It is absolutely, in my experience, one of the most loving gestures that you'll get from, from a cat. Now, does that say that all cats head bonk? No. Not at all. I mean, cats will do different things because they're different cats. Not all cats will bonk, not all cats will purr. Some cats will bonk in totally inappropriate times just because they've seen it done before. We know plenty of cats who hiss because they don't know what else to do. They don't mean it. They don't mean like hiss. You know, it's just that when they were kittens, they didn't have enough exposure to other cats. They didn't speak cat all that well, you know, growing up. So they have sort of inappropriate ways of expressing themselves. Same goes with head bonk. I, I guess what I'm trying to say is that it, it, it's about the circumstances. It could be in a time where they need to be soothed, or it could be a time where they're just trying to express affection. So it, it is a little subjective based on your relationship with your cat and the cat themselves. One thing that I think is really important to, to point out is there's a difference between the head bonk and head pressing. If you've ever seen a cat who will walk up to a wall and just press their head into the wall or a piece of furniture or something like that, that's actually a sign that the cat is not well. They could have a headache, you know, uh, there could be a bad tooth, something like that that's just causing them to do that. So that's not in this realm. It's not this, 
it's this, it's just the constant press. And in that case, I would tell you to get to the vet and just make sure everything's checked out. So, you know, the words, whether they're head butting or the more scientifically appropriate head bunting, which, you know, that's fine. That's fine that, that it's called head bunting. I then looked up the word bunting and there's like a hundred definitions, not one of which uh, uh, pertains. I mean, maybe the baseball one, maybe it's like I'm bunting, I'm hitting something with something else. I'm hitting my baseball bat to the ball in a gentle way. I don't know, but I, and, and this is me, I love head bunk. I think it's the cutest term and I will stick with it. So head bunk it is. And with that, let me just remind you again, it's all about love, you guys. It's all about love. At this time, at this place, on this planet, love is a very important thing. So that's just a reminder to love all the cats and all the animals in your life and all the humans in your life because it's going to go a long way. And that said, if you want to show some love in this direction, then just subscribe to the channel. Just subscribe, hit the bell, little thumbs up. These are loving acts. <laughs> <laughs> and how are you gonna say no to the cat daddy sitting here with heart-shaped glasses asking you to just hit that subscribe button? Also, if you wanna show some love, uh, share in the comments below. And please, just limit it to the I hate your glasses thing. I'd rather see you suggest uh, other videos that you'd like me to do, including other words that you'd like to see in the cat daddy dictionary. So it's time for me to take my leave of you, my gentle subscribers. Until the next time we see each other, all light, all love, all mojo to you. Mwah and bonk. Meow.